The revolutionary system is why we do not talk about fighter generations at Saab anymore. Have you ever heard stories about airplanes that can take off directly from a highway or remain invisible to the most advanced radar systems? Imagine a fighter jet not only prepared to meet modern challenges, but already operating at the level of future technologies. This is about the Swedish J-39 Gripen E, the latest fighter jet embodying revolutionary technology. Revolutionary system is why we do not talk about fighter generations at Saab anymore. Why did a small northern country create a fighter jet capable of challenging even the most powerful aviation nations in the world? Can an aircraft be so versatile that it serves as a hunter, defender, and even a spy? And most intriguingly, what is it about the J-39 Gripen E that makes major powers take notice with undisguised interest? Why has this jet become a topic of discussion in U.S. military circles? Do you really want to understand how the latest upgrade to this aircraft is changing the rules of the game in military aviation? Or perhaps you believe America already has the best of everything. If you're interested in military innovations, politics, or just looking for fresh ideas to discuss with friends, you should subscribe to this channel right now. Don't stay on the sidelines when the future is being shaped. Like this video and let's dive in. The J-39 fighter jet has a rich heritage. Back in the 1980s, the Gripen was conceived as a versatile aircraft capable of handling all possible combat missions. The name JS stands for Interceptor, Attack, and Reconnaissance. Even then, the Swedes set an ambitious goal to create an aircraft that could do it all and do it well. The upgraded Gripen E entered the stage after a major modernization completed in 2020, making it deadlier, more technologically advanced, and highly versatile. One of its most powerful upgrades is the Akar ES-5 radar, capable of detecting targets up to 186 miles away, far superior to many competitors, including the Eurofighter Typhoon. For comparison, earlier generation Gripen radars had a range of just 99 miles. It's like replacing an old monocular with a powerful telescope equipped with night vision. Imagine it this way. It's like being able to spot a car on a highway outside the city while sitting on your couch at home. It's every fighter pilot's dream. The Gripen E has become even more versatile and advanced thanks to this radar. It's not just the eyes of the aircraft, but a true digital brain, allowing the pilot to see everything around and even beyond. Imagine sitting in a chair with a 360 degrees panoramic view. That's what it feels like to pilot the Gripen E. As for cost, it's impressively economical. An hour of flight for this jet costs about $5,000 compared to the $36,000 per hour for the F-35. The total cost of a single Gripen E is approximately $85 million, while the F-35 can exceed $100 million. This level of cost-effectiveness isn't just about saving money. It's also about how quickly a country can replenish its forces during combat. Now let's talk about electronic warfare. The Gripen is equipped with the EW Orexi system, which can not only shield the aircraft from enemy radar, but also completely disable those systems. It's like a superpower that allows the jet to remain invisible, even in the most dangerous situations. Additionally, the fighter is actively preparing for the integration of the HACM hypersonic missiles, capable of striking targets up to 620 miles away at speeds of up to Mach 5. Just think about it, this weapon can destroy a fortified bunker as effortlessly as you break a cookie. Suddenly, any target that once seemed unreachable becomes vulnerable in a matter of minutes. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the reality of modern aerial combat strategy. A particularly practical advantage of the jet is its ability to take off from even short runways or regular roads. Imagine it landing on your local highway. It's not just impressive, but adds incredible flexibility in combat scenarios. Another key advantage is its modularity. The aircraft can easily adapt to new missions thanks to its open architecture. For instance, it supports integration with modern weapons like Meteor missiles with a range of over 93 miles, or Taurus KD-350, capable of hitting targets up to 310 miles away. By utilizing lightweight composite materials and reinforcing critical structural elements, engineers managed to make the jet not only lighter, but also stronger. This addressed the issue of excess weight found in earlier versions while simultaneously improving its maneuverability and survivability in combat. Initially, these changes created challenges with balance and control, but fine-tuning the electronic control systems resolved those issues. Now, the Gripen E flies as smoothly as a high-performance sports car at top speed. Its maneuverability is a standout feature. 
Thanks to its lightweight design and improved aerodynamics, the aircraft performs exceptionally well in the air. It's fast, responsive, and highly controllable, qualities that are especially critical in close-range dogfights where every second counts. The true star of the upgrade is its UR Situational Awareness System. This technology can passively detect targets, even those using stealth technology. It's like a thermal imaging device for the entire aircraft. It's so precise that it can see an enemy tens of miles away, even if they're trying to stay hidden. When it comes to weaponry, the Gripen E is a flying arsenal. It can carry up to 16 missiles or combine various types of armaments. For ground targets, it employs GBU-49 Paveway 2 precision-guided bombs equipped with laser targeting. These bombs are so accurate they can hit a car-sized object even in strong wind or heavy rain. Imagine them turning a fortified bunker into rubble, all in a single strike. For ship destruction, the Gripen E utilizes AGM-158C RASA missiles with a range of up to 310 miles. These missiles can independently analyze targets and evade air defense systems. Their destructive power is comparable to a small earthquake at the point of impact. This flexibility allows the Gripen to be a universal weapon for any scenario from intercepting enemy aircraft to delivering strategic strikes on ground or naval targets. The Gripen also stands out for its ability to undergo quick repairs and maintenance. It can be serviced by just a small team of technicians and requires minimal time to get back in the air. The Gryon E has gained another impressive feature, the use of alternative fuels. The Swedes have been actively testing synthetic fuels, which not only conserve resources, but also make aviation more environmentally friendly. Normally, aircraft are designed with air refueling from day one, and to go back and add it later is a challenge. This spider jet is a true masterpiece of Swedish engineering. It combines maneuverability, versatility, cost-effectiveness, and readiness for the future. The Gryon E is a prime example of how a high-tech aircraft can remain both accessible and practical. It's chosen not only for its efficiency, but because it's smart, not just powerful. What do you think about it? Share your thoughts in the comments. Did you know that the B-2 stealth bomber is like something from another world? It's not just a plane. It's an entire mystery that the American military kept under wraps for a long time. Some believe it's the infamous TR-3 B Black Manta that everyone whispers about. The B-2 is a true marvel of technology, making it hard to detect. Instead of the usual wings or fuselage that normally show up on radar, the B-2 has a very unique shape like a flattened flying triangle. What's even more interesting is that its design is based not only on aerodynamics, but also on a special coating that literally eats radio waves instead of reflecting them. It's a kind of camouflage, but one that works at frequencies we can't even see. The B-2 is basically designed so that it minimizes the amount of radar that can be returned to the original source. Its features are mind-blowing. Just think about it, this plane can climb to an altitude of over 50,000 feet. It flies so high that it's practically invisible. And in the range? It can fly over 6,800 miles without a single stop. To put it in perspective, that's like flying from the west coast of the U.S. to Europe without refueling. And there's more. It carries so much weaponry that no other aircraft can compare. If you ever saw it in action, you'd understand that it's a true predator. The B-2 stealth bomber is so packed with technology that it's like a computer with wings. Its brain is powered by artificial intelligence, which assists in flight and combat missions. It analyzes massive amounts of data in real time, helping pilots make quick decisions, choosing the best trajectories to avoid enemy radar or bypass threats. And it's not just about navigation. The AI literally suggests the best way to complete the mission, saving fuel and maximizing safety. Let's go under the hood. Let's start with the engines. The B-2 is equipped with four General Electric F-118G 100 turbofan engines. These engines are not only incredibly powerful, but also nearly silent, thanks to a specially designed exhaust system that disperses sound and reduces its infrared signature. This makes it almost invisible to heat sensors. Plus, the B-2 can reach speeds of over 620 miles per hour, which, while not a record for bombers, is perfect for its stealth mission. The B-2 Stealth is a stealth aircraft. It's designed to basically kick down the door to open up that entryway for other aircraft. As for armament, the B-2 can carry up to 18 tons of munitions, including conventional bombs, precision-guided jams, and even thermonuclear weapons. 
Its arsenal includes 16 bombs or missile racks, which it can configure based on the mission. For example, for high-priority targets, it can load up to 16 GBU-31J amps, each weighing 2,000 pounds. And if the mission calls for something more powerful, the B-2 can carry two B-83 thermonuclear bombs. Just imagine, it's flying invisible to radar with a few dozen of these surprises under its wing. But it's not just the weaponry that's impressive. Its cockpit is a true technological mark. Pilots sit in a cabin equipped with interactive displays that show data from radars, sensors, and navigation systems. The aircraft is partially automated thanks to fly-by-wire systems that provide smooth control and help prevent overloads. In case of danger, the autopilot can even take over to keep the plane in a safe position. But the key feature is that the B-2 systems analyze the radio frequency field around it to detect and evade even the most advanced enemy radar. Imagine, it can literally see radio waves and find gaps in their coverage. And what about the TR-3B Black Manta? This is where things get interesting. Theorists claim that the TR-3B is a secret military project, a flying saucer supposedly used by the U.S. military for covert missions. It's said to have a triangular shape as well and, unlike conventional aircraft, moves completely silently. When the B-2 first appeared, Many thought, could this be the TR-3B in the skies? Most of these aircraft have the same triangular shape, which helps reduce radar visibility. Eyewitness reports often mention a dark triangular object in the sky. The shape is no coincidence, as it's ideal for stealth missions. Their dimensions are also quite similar, although the B-2 is significantly larger than the rumored TR-3B. However, both have ample space for powerful engines and high-tech equipment. Similarities to the wing design, to the flying wing design over a traditional aircraft, is a replacement of that fuselage with more wing. So that creates a bigger surface area of wing, which translates into more lift. In terms of specifications, there are some intriguing similarities as well. For example, the B-2 can fly at an altitude of over 50,000 feet, while the TR-3B, according to legend, can ascend to 880,000 feet or even higher. Reportedly, the Black Manta can carry both conventional and advanced weaponry, similar to the B-2's ability to deliver thermonuclear payloads. Both aircraft also have stealth coatings that absorb radar waves. For the B-2, this is achieved with special stealth paint that absorbs radiation and cooling systems for the exhaust gases. It's speculated that the TR-3B may use similar materials. Eyewitnesses of the Black Manta often describe an engine noise that doesn't match traditional expectations. This is quite similar to accounts of the B-2, which is nearly silent on takeoff and often barely audible in flight. It's also said that both the TR-3B and the B-2 have technology that allows them to glide through the air with minimal aerodynamic effort. And there are reports that both aircraft were tested in the Nevada desert near Area 51. This location is well known as a primary testing ground for the most secretive U.S. developments. Here's another interesting coincidence. Both aircraft began testing around the same period. The B-2 was developed in the late 80s, and the TR-3B supposedly emerged around the same time. This has led many to believe that the B-2 was actually the crystallized version of the TR-3B, whose testing had already provided valuable experience for the development of official stealth technology. Even more intriguing is that the B-2 not only underwent testing in the Nevada desert, where UFO sightings are common, but also participated in real missions. It's said that it was used in covert operations where the goal was to be so quiet that even a fly wouldn't go unnoticed. The B-2, which is officially a bomber, may have carried out more than just conventional military tasks. Its design could be the result of research and experimental developments. Perhaps Black Manta is simply a nickname for one variation of the technology that served as the foundation for the B-2. Unofficial data, eyewitness accounts, and reports suggest that both aircraft may share the same DNA at their core. If these theories aren't just fantasies, then it's quite possible that the B-2 is a legitimate showcase for a much more mysterious technology. We may be looking at the official face of the same machine as the TR-3B Black Manta, which remains beyond the reach of official records but continues to be a source of fascination and speculation among enthusiasts worldwide.